looking to the big tight end. He's got it. And he's running in the open. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. That last play changed everything on this possession. They've got it first and 10 inside the 30. Pulls it in. It's Garcia. Just discarding tacklers, punching and grinding his way to the 23. I like this taking the safe play, getting the positive gain, and seeing if you can build some momentum. And I think it's making the right play, Reese. That, that's where quarterbacks get in trouble sometimes when they get too aggressive and then they get behind the sticks a little bit. I see a lot of space. Take advantage of it. Get it to my running back. Let him chew that up. And now it's easier on the next down. On the option. Now the toss. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. And he's going to lose yardage. He was looking everywhere for just a little grass and a little air, and none to be found. And now on second down for this offense. Here's the handoff. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride in stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. And he was trying to cash in in the end zone in this red zone threat, but it's incomplete. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is, they got a field goal in their back pocket. They're throwing for it. Going for it all. And it's incomplete. The long pass downfield, they couldn't hook up. And it, listen, I have no problem being aggressive on fourth down, but the consequences of that, now you've got to have your defense go belly out. So you started the game trying to be aggressive. Well, defense... I've got to get my back now. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum, not only of a series, but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front of the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you want to Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Syracuse will send out the punt team. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Nestles it in at the 35. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. White going to attack through the air. A strike downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Offense getting set for first down. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll toss it. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Goes to the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. The defense pounced on that. And now they're headed the other way. He's loose down the middle. The tap. Touchdown, Orange. The defense takes matters into their own hands. And I love 
the way they break on the football, swarm to the football. This is why you do it, because sometimes the ball comes out, the linebacker picks it up, and tell you what, the big fella shows some speed, takes it all the way back for six. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. Here he comes from inside his own five. Makes a move. Oh, what vision. There he goes. Open it up. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space, great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. And you can see when he got in the open field, he rolled out. They're lining up to kick it off full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. They put the brakes on him, but a good return out to the 36. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The gift to the back. Turns it on in midfield. And he breaks into the open. The 20. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Syracuse. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Number the kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. The offense set for a first down play. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second and long from the 21. And the timing was just off with the freshman pass well behind him. Quarterback there just trying to go to his primary target. They're just not on the same page. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. And the ball is loose and live in the backfield. And the ball goes out of bounds, thankfully, for their offense that you can turn it over. And now it's decision time. You want to punt the football or you want to go for it. Analytics, of course, I think says go for it every single time. I don't necessarily agree with that, but... He's loose. He's at the 20. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Able to move the chains, and they still have a chance after picking up the first down. Back to the air one more time. Broken up, incomplete, and nearly intercepted in the end zone. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. White going to attack through the air. To the end zone, and it's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. And that's just excellent cover. Cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jess. 
Jason B. See, they agree with me. Same thing, but you watch him get off the football, make the play. That's why you pitch your athletes. Offense couldn't get anything going in rhythm there. They're just trying to give themselves some space. Couldn't come up with a completion on third down. Looks like they're going to be punting. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Fields the punt. Wants to make a play. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Fires into traffic and intercepted. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. The offense has it now at the 48-yard line, first and 10. Going for the big play. And he makes the catch inside the 25. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Back to the ground game on the left. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Good, right down the boulevard. They'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we're just about ready to go in the second half. A rather inauspicious start with the kickoff out of bounds and great field position for this offense. Syracuse has a really nice drive going. The give to the tailback. He has the first and still on his feet. Running toward the tape. 